Hi guys, in this video, I will show you how to create and install the Facebook Pixel as well as track events on your Stellar store. With Stellar, you can create and install the Facebook Pixel and track events such as add to cart, initiate checkout, and even purchase. So when someone generally adds any product in your store to cart, or initiate a checkout, or even buys any product from your store, it will automatically send information to Facebook as long as you have the pixel code correctly installed. So I am going to walk you through how to first create the pixel inside of Facebook and get the correct code to seller and how exactly to test if you have correctly installed the code. So I am right here inside of Facebook Business Manager account and what you want to do is to select the right account you want to use for advertising. And how I got here is by going to business.facebook.com. However, if you have another means of getting here, just make sure you select the right advertising account. So you can also select the account by using the drop down menu right here or by using any of this box option here. So, so I will just go ahead and select test page. Once the right account is selected, proceed to the top left and select event manager if you can't find the event manager on your shortcuts all you want to do is to expand this menu and scroll down to find event manager so i will just click on that so right inside the event manager you can see that this is basically empty because this is a new business account and actually a test account right so what you want to do is to hover to the left where you have this green icon and click on connect data source once you click on that, select web and click on get started, select Facebook pixel and connect. Now you want to name your pixel, right? So what you call your pixel doesn't really matter. You can give it any name you like. Just make sure that you can always identify the pixel. So now that you've named your pixel, you can actually ignore this URL option. It is very optional and you just click on continue. So you can X this out. Once the pixel is created, the next thing you want to do is to get the code that you need to connect your store information to Facebook. However, if you already have a pixel created, you do not need to create a new pixel. All you have to do is to get the code. So to get the code, navigate to the top left where you have the name of your pixel and underneath that you will see a set of numbers or code and that is exactly what you need to proceed. So I will just copy this number right here which says ID. Now that we've copied this number, what you want to do now is head over to your store. So this is my seller store and in order for me to paste this code that I've copied into my seller store, what you want to do is to navigate to the hamburger icon at the top right, select that and go to integrations. Under integration, you want to select Facebook pixel. So if you have a pixel code before now, it will be right here and you can actually X that out to update it. But if you don't have any pixel code installed before, this is going to be blank as this. So what you want to do is to paste the code which you've copied from inside of Facebook right here. Now, after pasting the code, what you want to do is to click on update pixel. Now you have successfully created and installed your pixel to your store. So now that you've installed your pixel to your store, the next thing you want to do is to test the various events available on your store, which are add to cart, initiate checkout, and purchase. And how you want to do this is to actually visit these pages on your store. Before we do that, if you come back here to Facebook and refresh this page, you will see that the pixel page is no longer empty as it was when we just created it, but it is inactive. And for you to be able to activate this, you have to visit specific pages and take these specific actions on your store. With Seller, you do not need to create any standard events as they're already created for you. And all you have to do is to test that each event is active, right? So in order to test the event, what you need is to test your store URL. And to be able to get that, go to your seller store and use the hamburger icon and on the top left you're going to see store link right so click on the arrow pointing forward and you're going to see your store link right so i am just going to copy this link so what you want to do is to scroll down here to where you have open event setup tool and you want to put in your store url right here so i'm just going to paste this here and open website this is my store url right um, a little box is going to pop up here right so you can just leave that 
and click on finish setup right and just finish then go back to your events manager right so this is connected already when you refresh this page you're going to see the difference next thing you want to do is to test the activity with one of your products you can set the product price to zero so that you can buy the product and visit each page of the event so here is one of my products that is actually free right so what i want to do is to visit this product link P.S. You can create a dummy product and set the price to zero or set one of your existing product price to zero and after you correctly test your pixel, you can update the price to the original amount. So what I want to do now is to try to buy this product so that I can visit the add to cart page, initiate checkout page and purchase page. So I'm going to go ahead to buy this product. Okay, I'll click on checkout and click on continue now i have successfully bought this product right so what i want to do is to come back here to events manager on facebook and refresh this page so after buying this product and then you come right here inside of your events you are going to see that we now have the page view add to cart initiate checkout purchase and even view content event that means you have successfully right installed your pixel and all the events are active on your store and you can use this data for add to cart retargeting or even customer retargeting ads. Now, another way to test that your pixel is correctly installed and that you have all of these events is to install the Facebook Business Helper Chrome extension to your desktop. Now, go to a new tab, right? This extension tells you when there is a pixel installed on any page you visit on the web, whether or not it is your page. So what you just want to do is go to Google and Google our Facebook Pixel Helper, right? And then select the first option and that should redirect you to your Chrome store. Now what you want to do is to select Add to Chrome, right? Use the pop-up to say Add Extension. If you try this and it doesn't work, you want to go and disable ad blockers on your Chrome. So now it has been successfully installed and I will just um, bring it out here and pin it to my desktop. So that it is visible so this is the icon for the chrome extension and right now it's actually gray in color which means it is inactive right so to test this all you just have to do is to visit a specific web page on your browser your chrome browser and if there's a pixel installed on a page for instance the extension will turn blue with a green number and when you click on that it will tell you whether or not a pixel is installed on that page the name of the page and even the event that is set up for that page this is our product page. Let's um, refresh this, right? And you can see that the Pixel Helper is now blue. And once you click on that, you will see the name of the, the Pixel. Remember when we created the Pixel, we named it the Text Pixel. And the event on this page is the Page View Event. So this is a product. I'm just going to visit the public link for that product. So when I check the Pixel right here, you're going to see that we have Page View and View Content on this page right so this is just the products anybody that gets here facebook will just them as people that actually viewed our product right viewed content of our product so i'm going to get this product now and you see that the pixel number has changed because i'm in the cuts section right so once you click on the drop down you will see that the add to cut event is on this um, page that just popped up right and click on continue and so this is a thank you page this is a purchase page that means anybody that gets here actually made a purchase right so if you come to the pixel you're going to see the purchase event registered right here that means your pixel has been correctly installed and you can go ahead to run facebook ads to your store and your store is going to be sending information to facebook when someone takes any of these actions right so with this you can track your sales via facebook ads without having a website a landing page or even a sales page so after setting up your pixel testing out all the events right what you want to do next is to assign your pixel to an ad account so that when you want to run ads you'll be able to find the pixel inside your ads manager so how to do that is come here to the top left and go to business settings and on the left scroll down to where you have data sources right data sources click on pixels and you come here to connected assets, right? And click on add assets. And you want to add your ad account 
to the pixel so that when you're running ads inside of ads manager you are going to find this pixel inside of your ads manager you click on add okay so you successfully added this to your ads manager so when you go into ads manager trying to create your ad right you can easily find your pixel right here so this is the pixel test pixel if you don't assign the pixel to an ad account inside your ads manager you'll be seeing the option that says create pixel so you need to do that before you even start running ads ensure that you assign your pixel to an ad account and once you add your pixel to an ad account from here you can select all of the events the add to cart event initiate checkout event and purchase event view content event as well these are the active events we have add to cart initiate checkout purchase view content which are automatically created for you on seller once you install your pixel you are seeing this notification here because of the new ios 14 updates on facebook right they're saying you have you have to verify your domain else when the uh, update is launched and all of that your ad is going to be um, stopped right so you don't have to worry about this right but you can also go ahead to verify your domain so this is exactly how to create and install the facebook pixel to your seller store and track specific actions taken on your store